XPATH, the XML path language, is a query language for selecting nodes from an XML document. In addition, XPATH may be used to compute values from the content of an XML document. XPATH was defined by the World Wide Web Consortium. Overview The XPATH language is based on a tree representation of the XML document and provides the ability to navigate around the tree, selecting nodes by a variety of criteria. In popular use, an XPATH expression is often referred to simply as an XPATH. Originally motivated by a desire to provide a common syntax and behavior model between XPointer pointer and XSLT, subsets of the XPATH query language are used in other W3C specifications such as XML schema, XFORMS and the internationalization tag set. XPATH has been adopted by a number of XML processing libraries and tools, many of which also offer CSS selectors, another W3C standard, as a simpler alternative to XPATH. Versions There are currently three versions of XPATH in use. The latest version of the language is 3.0, but XPATH 1.0 is the version that is most widely available. XPATH 1.0 became a recommendation on November 16, 1999 and is widely implemented and used either on its own, or embedded in languages such as XSLT, XPROC, XML Schema or XFORMS. XPATH 2.0 became a recommendation on January 23, 2007. A number of implementations exist but are not as widely used as XPATH 1.0. The XPATH 2.0 language specification is much larger than XPATH 1.0 and changes some of the fundamental concepts of the language such as the type system. The most notable change is that XPATH 2.0 is built around the XQUEOI and XPATH data model which is a much richer type system. Every value is now a sequence. XPATH 1.0 node sets are replaced by node sequences, which may be in any order. To support richer type sets, XPATH 2.0 offers a greatly expanded set of functions and operators. XPATH 2.0 is in fact a subset of XQUEOY 1.0. They share the same data model. It offers a for expression which is a cut-down version of the FLWOR expressions in XQUEOI. It is possible to describe the language by listing the parts of XQUEOI that it leaves out. The main examples are the query prolog, element and attribute constructors, the remainder of the FLWOR syntax, and the type switch expression. XPATH 3.0 became a recommendation on April 8, 2014. The most significant new feature is support for functions as first class values. For details about what's new about XPATH 3.0, CXPATH 3.0 is a subset of XQUEOY 3.0, and most current implementations exist as part of an XQUEOY 3.0 engine. Syntax and semantics The most important kind of expression in XPATH is a location path. A location path consists of a sequence of location steps. Each location step has three components, an axis, a node test, zero or more predicates. An XPATH expression is evaluated with respect to a context node. An axis specifier such as child or descendant specifies the direction to navigate from the context node. The node test and the predicate are used to filter the node specified by the axis specifier. For example the node test A requires that all nodes navigated to must have label A. A predicate can be used to specify that the selected nodes have certain properties, which are specified by XPATH expressions themselves. The XPATH syntax comes in two flavors, the abbreviated syntax, is more compact and allows XPATHs to be written and read easily using intuitive and, in many cases, familiar characters and constructs. The full syntax is more verbose, but allows for more options to be specified, and is more descriptive if read carefully. Abbreviated syntax, the compact notation allows many defaults and abbreviations for common cases. Given source XML containing at least 
The simplest XPATH takes a form such as BC, which selects C elements that are children of B elements that are children of the A element that forms the outermost element of the XML document. The XPATH syntax is designed to mimic URI and Unix style file path syntax. More complex expressions can be constructed by specifying an axis other than the default child axis, a node test other than a simple name, or predicates, which can be written in square brackets after any step. For example, the expression, AB slash, 1, selects the first child, whatever its name, of every B element that itself is a child or other, deeper descendant of an A element that is a child of the current context node. Note that the predicate, 1, binds more tightly than the slash operator. To select the first node selected by the expression AB slash, right, 1. Expanded syntax, in the full, unabbreviated syntax, the two examples above would be written, child B child C, child A Carl B child, position equals 1. Here, in each step of the XPATH, the axis is explicitly specified, followed by and then the node test, such as A or node in the examples above. Axis specifiers, axis specifiers indicate navigation direction within the tree representation of the XML document. The axes available are, as an example of using the attribute axis in abbreviated syntax, a slash at if selects the attribute called if in elements anywhere in the document tree. The expression is most commonly used within a predicate to refer to the currently selected node. For example, H3 equals C also selects an element called H3 in the current context, whose text content is C also. Node tests, node tests may consist of specific node names or more general expressions. In the case of an XML document in which the namespace prefix GS has been defined, GS, inquiry will find all the inquiry elements in that namespace, and GS, will find all elements, regardless of local name, in that namespace. Other node test formats are, commenter, finds an XML comment node, for example. Comment, texter, finds a node of type text, for example the hello world and k, hello m, world k, processing instruction or, finds XML processing instructions such as, php echo dollar a, a, in this case, processing instruction, php would match, node or, finds any node at all. Predicates, predicates, written as expressions in square brackets, can be used to restrict a node set to select only those nodes for which some condition is true. For example a, at if equals help php will select those elements having an if attribute whose value is help php. There is no limit to the number of predicates in a step, and they need not be confined to the last step in an XPATH. They can also be nested to any depth. Paths specified in predicates begin at the context of the current step and do not alter that context. All predicates must be satisfied for a match to occur. When the value of the predicate is numeric, it is interpreted as a test on the position of the node. So P, 1, selects the first P element child, while P, last selects the last. In other cases, the value of the predicate is automatically converted to a boolean. When the predicate evaluates to a node set, the result is true when the node set is non-empty. Thus P, at X, selects those P elements that have an attribute named X. A more complex example, the expression a, at lang equals n, at if equals help php, 1, slash it target selects the value of the target attribute of the first element among the children of the context node that is its if attribute set to help php, provided the document's HTML top level element also has a lang attribute set to n. The reference to an attribute of the top level element in the first predicate affects neither the context of other predicates nor that of the location step itself. Predicate order is significant if predicates test the position of a node. Each predicate filters a location step selected node set in turn. So a, 1, at if equals help php will find a match only if the first a child of the context node satisfies the condition at if equals help php, while a, at if equals help php, 1, will find the first a child that satisfies this condition. Functions and operators, 
XPATH 1.0 defines four data types, node sets, strings, numbers and booleans. The available operators are, the slash, and operators, used in path expressions, as described above. A union operator, vertical bar, which forms the union of two node sets. Boolean operators, and, and, or, and a function not, arithmetic operators plus, dash, asterisk, div, and mod, comparison operators equal. Equals, opening angle bracket, closing angle bracket, equals, equals, the function library includes, functions to manipulate strings, concat, substring, contains, substring before, substring after, translate, normalize space, string length, functions to manipulate numbers, sum, round, floor, ceiling, functions to get properties of nodes, name, local name, namespace URI, functions to get information about the processing context, position, last, type conversion functions, string, number, boolean, some of the more commonly useful functions are detailed below. For a complete description, see the W3C recommendation document, node set functions, position or, returns a number representing the position of this node in the sequence of nodes currently being processed. Count, node set, a, returns the number of nodes in the node set supplied as its argument. String functions, string, object, a, converts any of the four XPATH data types into a string according to built-in rules. If the value of the argument is a node set, the function returns the string value of the first node in document order, ignoring any further nodes. Concat, string, string, stringer, concatenates two or more strings, starts with, S1, S2, a, returns true if S1 starts with S2, contains, S1, S2, a, returns true if S1 contains S2, substring, string, start, length, Example, substring, abg, 2, 3, returns bcd, substring before, s1, s2, a, example, substring before, 199901, slash returns 1999, substring after, s1, s2, a, example, substring after, 199901, slash returns 04 slash 01, string length, string, Returns number of characters in string, normalize space, string. A, all leading and trailing white space is removed and any sequences of white space characters are replaced by a single space. This is very useful when the original XML may have been print to print formatted, which could make further string processing unreliable. Boolean functions, not, Boolean, a, negates any Boolean expression. True, a, evaluates to true. False evaluates to false. Number functions, sum, node set, a, converts the string values of all the nodes found by the XPATH argument into numbers, according to the built-in casting rules, then returns the sum of these numbers. Usage examples, expressions can be created inside predicates using the operators, equals, 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 equals and. Boolean expressions may be combined with brackets and the Boolean operators and and or as well as the NOT function described above. Numeric calculations can use plus, div and mod. Strings can consist of any Unicode characters. Item, at price greater than 2 at discount selects items whose price attributes is greater than twice the numeric value of the discount attribute. Entire node sets can be combined using the vertical bar character. Node sets that meet one or more of several conditions can be found by combining the conditions inside a predicate with OR, V, X or Y, W, Z, will return a single node set consisting of all the V elements that have X or Y child elements, as well as all the W elements that have Z child elements, that were found in the current context. Syntax and semantics. Examples, given a sample XML document. The XPATH expression projects at name, selects name attributes for all projects, and additions, selects all additions of all projects, and projects additions text.
selects addresses of all English Wikimedia projects. And the following. Projects Editions Text. Selects addresses of all Wikipedias, implementations, command line tools, XML STARLET, Raptor XML server from Altiva supports XPATH 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0, Action Script, CC, LIB XML2, Pathan, SPNA XML Database, VTD XML, Zonin, XQILLA, Delphi, Implementations for Database Engines, OpenLink Virtuoso, Java, Saxon XSLT supports XPATH 1.0 and XPATH 2.0, BaseX, VTD XML, SPNA XML database both XML, DB and proprietary. Key XPATH is streaming open source implementation by Anovamax, the Java package Javax XML XPATH has been part of Java Standard Edition since Java 5. Technically this is an XPATH API rather than an XPATH implementation, and it allows the programmer the ability to select a specific implementation that conforms to the interface. JavaScript, jQuery XPATH plugin based on open source XPATH 2.0 implementation in JavaScript, .NET framework, in the system XML and system XML XPATH namespaces, SPNA XML database, Perl, XML lib XML, PHP, SPNA XML database, Python, the element tree XML API in the Python standard library includes limited support for XPATH expressions, LIB XML2, Amera, SPNA XML database, LXML, Ruby, LIB XML2, Nokajiri, Scheme, SPNA XML database, SQL, MySQL supports a subset of XPATH from version 5.1.5 onwards. Postgresql supports XPATH and XSLT from version 8.4 on, TCL, the TDOM package provides a very complete, compliant, and fast XPATH implementation in C, use in schema languages, XPATH is increasingly used to express constraints in schema languages for XML. The schema language Schematron pioneered the approach. A streaming subset of XPATH is used in W3C XML Schema 1.0 for expressing uniqueness and key constraints. In XSD 1.1, the use of XPATH is extended to support conditional type assignment based on attribute values, and to allow arbitrary Boolean assertions to be evaluated against the content of elements. XFORMS uses XPATH to bind types to values. The approach has even found use in non-XML applications, such as the constraint language for Java called PMD, the Java is converted to a DOM-like parse tree, then XPATHS rules are defined over the tree. See also, XSL, XSLT, XSLFO, XLINK, XPointer, Schematron, Navigational Database, XML Database, References. External links. XPATH 1.0 Specification, XPATH 2.0 Specification, What's New in XPATH 2.0, XPATH Reference, XPATH Expression Syntax, XPATH 2.0 Expression Syntax, 2, XPATH, MDC Docs by Mozilla Developer Network, XPATH Introduction Tutorial, XSLT and XPATH function reference.